All right, so this is my stable video diffusion workflow with masking, with segment anything. I've noticed a lot of people have been having uh, masks, uh, like just a whole mask. So I basically took this mask workflow, that's what this was initially, and then I basically just replaced the input your own mask with uh, segment anything. And it, it does work, so that's, uh, I'm happy about that. Um, And so basically, I'll just say, when you initially, I'll have the, the JSON workflow in the description so basically you just pull this into comfy ui and then it might have some red stuff you just go to a uh, manager you should install manager as well it's basically a way to manage all your uh, i'll have the github link in the description as well for that and then you can just put that into your custom nodes folder and then it should be here and then you should just have this and so basically all you do is you go to uh, install missing custom nodes so you install all the missing notes from here if you see anything like I, it'll probably say some of the stuff and you might not have it you can either go to you can usually find it if you just install models and then you can just install them from here i'll try to copy the names of stuff that i have search svd or sambit8 i don't know if the stuff might be just in, implemented with the uh with the custom nodes when you download them just start you'll just put your input image in here and then uh it'll basically go through this and uh you this is where you put your prompt in, so you type in your prompt there, then it'll go to, and then it just goes through here. I don't, I'm not really too sure what all this stuff is, because it was in the workflow before, I just kind of copied it, because I'm still new to Comfy, so. And then the, the preview will show up here, so I'll show that. It'll show up here, so I did body, so it did the whole body. And then uh, the threshold is basically how you, how, like, how direct it is, I guess. So if I did seven, it would be even more uh like body i don't know if it'll do the body i don't know uh the model has to kind of know what the picture is of figure out what this is to be able to segment it but it's typically pretty really good the 0.7 is too high i guess maybe or something but you can play around with that and then these are the other ones so the width and the height uh so you can change the this is the resolution so you can change like uh right now it's 600 by 600 pixels the number of frames is so it's at 14 frames and then fps and frames are kind of connected so it'd be six frames for four, for four so it's, it'll be about like two two and a third uh seconds of video basically i'm not sure why i did i guess four i don't know uh so basically you can do that then um i'm not really sure what all this stuff does i mean it might not even be necessary but I'm, I, I just don't really know because I haven't used it yet. So if you know more than me, you can uh, mess with that more. Um, and then basically the motion bucket, you can switch this between like, typically it's like 50, 50 to on or like, z like zero to hundred. And then you can change the augmented level. I don't really know what this does. I guess it just increases the amount of movement. So, and then you can uh, change like the seed seeds are so basically how you control svd is with motion bucket and seeds i think maybe augmented level so basically go through all that and if you don't want to have the uh masked image there it is if you don't want to do that you can just do latent you can just connect this here and then it'll uh, do the full the full video so that's how you do that and then um i think that's it um if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I'll have this workflow and hopefully a few links. And then hopefully you guys can get started making your own uh, animations with just with masks, with masking. I think it improves the quality of uh, video diffusion quite a bit. So yeah, thanks. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Cool.